like my Ty Pennington. Is that his name on the? On yeah. the <laughs> Except with a fraction of a fraction of the skill. <clears throat> oh, you thought you were gonna say the muscles. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another day. For some reason, this hair wants to go this way today. <laughs> um, and today is a very special day. This is going to go down in the books. This is a super special day. Yeah. It's the day that the thrift store reopened. Um, I actually drove, Mike and I drove last week to a thrift store that was far away where you got like special tickets. They were free, but you, um, that meant you went in with only like three other people and you got an hour. <clears throat> that was like 45 minutes away. But this one is one of my regulars and one of my favorites. It's not my, it's not the top favorite. It's top favorite for some reasons, but anyways, I'm gonna go, it opens in 12 minutes. Whoa, drive faster. I know. And um, we have our masks, we have our hand sanitizer, and we are ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you find lots of treasures. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. We're in. Okay, we're out. Time to load up the little stuff. And then we'll see what we can fit back here. Got the big stuff. Get it loaded up. We've got a couple more to come. I don't know if we can get it all in though. That was an amazing, amazing haul. It was such an amazing experience. Well, it's different because last time we went to the thrift store, we were just starting this business. And so we didn't really know what we were gonna do and what we mm. were capable of doing. What are we capable well, of Well, you just really? don't know until you start making stuff what you like and what you want to do more of. And so today was like, like amazing because there was so much stuff and I knew exactly the kind of things I wanted. And you knew exactly when, what to tell me and what to look for. I know. Because you're just, just like my little builder. Listen to me. You're like my Ty Pennington. Is that his name on the, on yeah. the, 
except with a fraction of a fraction of the skill. <clears throat> I thought you were going to say the muscles, but well, that yeah, too. I mean. <laughs> okay, here is the hall, um, not including the big furniture, but you probably saw I got this brass planter, this gold mirror. I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet, but uh, these two prints, which there are some, you know, things that are rough about them, like they've got some things like that and like that. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix those and then I'm gonna mod podge them just to give it some texture so it doesn't look such like a flat print. It's not to trick someone to make them think it's the original, it's just to give them more interest for hanging on your wall. It's also got, who knows what that is. I got this vintage abacus, which is just so cute for the colors. I got a couple of yellow books, which like I said, I they're not, they were $4 each and that's usually what I sell them for, but four, yellow books are hard to come by and I like to have the whole gamut of color. A little brass candlestick, which I think I'm gonna have to warm up to get this wax out of. And then I got some cute little plates. Um, these already came ready to hang. I already washed them, went in and hand washed them. I wiped down everything but I think these are a really cute set. Especially love that one. And then these are really pretty. Um, blue and white china I've noticed is at a lot of stores lately. It's, they're super pretty. The pattern's beautiful. Um, it's a set of four. They'll look really pretty in maybe a china cabinet that I redo, so. Oh, and how could I forget? I got this sweet little girl. I got this lamp because at Halloween I pull out a bunch of creepy dolls and my kids love it. And uh, I thought she would be great to put a spooky bulb in and have out as well. Megan's already working on one of the items we picked up at the restore today. Putting some gold leafing on. Well, I'm doing a rose gold. Rose gold leafing, even it, better. It's just painted like a real yellow gold. Which uh -huh. is fine, but um, I don't know. I don't like to just leave things as I found them. I always like to make them. You like to better. improve. It's cool. It just. And even if I had just done a gold leafing, it would have been a lot better because it makes it a lot shinier and more authentic looking than just a. So if you're ever gonna like, if you ever want to do this to a frame, gold leafing's really simple. Um, instead of just getting a spray pan of spray can of spray paint. It's gold. You might think about doing this. You apply the glue, you just let it sit. Once it's clear, it's like 10 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You just lay these sheets on here and you don't even need authentic gold. You can get those, but you just take a sheet, lay it on, it sticks right to it. You push it into all the crevices and it's really fun actually. It's and this like magical. The gold leafing also has more texture. Yeah, it's got a, it looks authentic. So. Yeah. Instead of just like a flat, you know, gold, which really doesn't look, I mean, everybody can tell it's just spray paint, right? Mm -hmm. This looks a lot cooler. And it's not that difficult. No, it's not. Well, I say that having watched, not actually done it, but it doesn't look like it's that difficult. I know. I like it so much that like, I'm going to start like having everything I make look like Versailles or something. Fact, I need to like pull back <laughs> on that. Megan... We're doing a time lapse of this, so we might show that. But Megan over there, she put some on. I don't know if we showed it last night, but she put some gold leafing on that pink dresser. I'm not sure how I feel about it, so I'm just letting it sit there for now. <laughs> I'm just a gold gold leaf junkie right now, and I'll get I'll get better. I'll get more used. You to just got to get your fix, you know, and then. Oh well, that's probably taking that that a little too far. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, welcome to another day. I'm not sure where this is in the vlog, but we're beginning another day. And today is actually kind of a special day because today is the first day of Daniel's mission. Um, and usually he would have gone to the Missionary Training Center in Provo, Utah and be starting there today, but because of the pandemic, he is actually doing his missionary training from home. And so we've set up the office as his little missionary training center. He's doing everything online. They're doing a Zoom call, or Zoom calls, I should say, for his uh, all of his training. So he's about to actually start in about 10 minutes with what he's doing there. Okay. Next, uh getting started Mommy. he's gonna We're be early oh you guys are early yeah we're supposed to be 15 minutes early but well so you've got to technically we're five minutes late oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> so this is daniel's uh missionary training center in here yeah, pretty interesting we kind of cleared out all the D, &D stuff yeah. we actually put a new table this is the table we got from our friend we kicked the nurse out What's that? We kicked the nerds out. All the nerds are kicked out. So, Daniel's waiting for his stuff to start here in about 10 minutes. Yep. Hello. <laughs> I guess there's one other on there. Yep, there's, there's a teacher and one other. Okay. All right. Do you want to have this closer? Can you see their names? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> because I don't remember any names. Well, they don't either, I'm sure. I might, turn that my name out. is literally on there, so. I mean, like, hey, I guess theirs will be, too. Yeah, they have names on there, but. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Exciting, exciting stuff. <laughs> yep, he's getting started. The way it works with the missionary training kind of stuff is that when you go to the missionary training center, you're assigned to a group they call a district. So there's, like, a group of missionaries that go to all the classes together and do everything together. And you have a companion as well, which is the person that you're kind of assigned to. And uh, so they're, he just burped. Uh, so they're doing the same thing just virtually. So Daniel has a district. They are, there's eight, of mis eight missionaries in that district, but they're all at home and they're just logging in remotely. And then he does have a companion. Um, he will do some things just with his companion as far as like some companionship studies, what they call it and, and that sort of thing. But um, they'll all be doing. They'll be doing all their training together, about six hours a day of online training, and then um, beyond that, just be sort of here. So that's how it's going to work. He's supposed to do it for. They have him. I think it's six. It's a six-week program that he's on right now. They're saying that he'll go to Canada on June thirtieth. Uh, but like everyone kind of knows, the, the borders are closed right now, so we're not sure if they'll be open by then, but that's the tentative date for him to actually leave, which is the same day that Elijah will be leaving. Uh, so we'll see how that all works, but he's in, so it's, it's starting. This is also happening today. Oh, well, I did this yesterday. Oh, I guess we're, yeah. we're seeing the results of your work today. Jude kind of helped clean up. There's a bottle under there, and, and um, her all attached oh my. clay, clay yeah. and then made a little roof for it. And then mine is just wet. Oh, yeah. Asher's also working on this over That's here. a lot of water. There's a lot of water on that. What yeah. is the end goal here, Asher? Oh, oh, I have no idea. You don't know what the end goal is? And I got this over Okay. So you're just going to, you're just kind of making it up as you go? Yeah. Okay. That well, looks good. It's a good start. <laughs> but this is a fun little yeah. thing that the kids do. Then, putting, um, using bottles as like the structure to make little, I don't know, little houses, little houses and cute things like that. See, I made one before. It was from my birthday. Yeah, this was, this other one is from a little while. Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. That was one. Pearl did a while ago, which is kind of cool. I think we might have shown that before, but it's a little like, I don't know what this is, a little dish that she turned into a little like hobbit hole almost. And this is one that mom made a while back. 
we've got some good little models here. What are you working on? This. All this. Making that this is officially a chippy project, right? Chippy means just a way of making it look kind of old and... Well, really old, yeah, where it's like the paint is chipping off. Like the paint is chipping off and stuff like that. It's kind of like a British word. It's a thing. I think we just call it distress. Chippy's cuter, right? Chippy, yeah, we don't call things distress anymore. We call them chippy. Because that would be distressing. That would be just too distressing. But Megan's been working on this since last night, since like... You were working on this at like 11.30 last night. Well, because so. you want to get started so it can sit overnight. Yeah. That way you get all you get all these different layers of paint. So it looks like it's been like painted and repainted over the years. Sat out and in the field. Your project continues. Is this a... Well, that one's done. Oh, so this one is done. Looks pretty fun. Like tower looking thing. So what is this one going to be? It's a small cottage. A small I thought it was an acorn. What? I you... thought it was an acorn. You thought it was an acorn? Is it a cottage that looks like an acorn? Uh, no? I don't know. I <laughs> thought we were just doing like a small cottage. I so thought we were doing an acorn. What are you going to put over that? This? Yeah. Whoa. Is there going to be like something on top or? Oh, I think just like a roof. Oh yeah, and do you want a chimney? Okay, it's now 7.30 at night. Um, we've had dinner and that sort of thing. Daniel is back at his training. He's in there doing his thing. It's still raining out here. It has been raining and raining and raining and raining and raining and raining and raining, and raining all day. What do you got here, Meg? Well, I'm going to be this? making this huge dresser into more of like a buffet. Yes. So, when you paint wood, there's all sorts of like cracks that come out mm -hmm. that you can get away with with wood, like just seams that are pretty wide. Mm -hmm. You and I learned that, remember in our first house, when we painted a wall paneling? Yeah. There's so many little holes and things. Yeah, you don't really think about it. Fill, but Filling that, and then it had like a folk art little carving, which is cute, but just not where I'm taking it. So I also filled that. Oh. And so I'm gonna let that dry, and tomorrow I'll sand it. It's gonna take a long time to dry because of this. And we're right on the edge here because we have so much stuff. There's no room. Yeah, but I want to start moving through these things. So that one. I also need to. Woo! Watch out. We hope that gets sold pretty soon. Oh now that it's, I haven't heard any inquiries. It's though. it's operating, so you know, right? <laughs> yeah. <but. laughs> um. Anyways, I think I'm gonna put new poles on these drawers, so I need to um fill those holes um as well. Hmm. So cool. We decided really that awesome. Andrew deserved to have this cool desk. Thank you so much. He loves to have stuff that's like legit. I cleaned it and then I oiled it. I'm like, this is really nice. It really is by one of the fine furniture makers of the U.S. I'll only ruin it in six months. It's anywhere from 100 to 140 years old. That is amazing. That is really And it's cool. built to last like forever. So I figured I shouldn't just let you guess that. That is that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Literally, I'll just carry this up on my own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all going to bed. Well, all the kids at least. Daniel, how was your first day of missionary training? It was unique. I had to say it's, it's, it's very different, but it's good different. Good. I think, yeah. Because uh, cause I want my teacher to say, you know, like normally if you was your companion, you had to live, live with them. Uh -huh. And, you know, you'll be like, I didn't know you clipped your toenail on the bed. You know, like <laughs> stuff like that. You're not going to have that experience. You're going to get a good sight. Yeah. So, more likely I'll like him more. So, That's true. You won't get any nerves like quite as much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, we all see the only in the bright side. So, win-win. So. Well, yeah. and we know that Daniel needs a haircut, but cutting straight hair is not my thing. And 
barbers think... aren't open yet. Actually, I saw that they are. Are they? They are? Yeah, the one on Main Street, they said oh. they're open like 4 to 8 or something. So. Okay, well, maybe we I can't get it on Saturday, though. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. We'll get your haircut. It's okay. I think my hair is kind of fine. It's certainly a little bit long. With that, I think we'll end the video. So, thanks for coming along. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go to NorfolkSouth.com. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.